Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dying Light. We are on the map in this general area, and it appears we have our protect mission. I remember these. We essentially, we just have to escort this person back to the tower, but you get a good reward for doing this, so, you know, switch weapons. That, not that one. Crap. Gotta pay more attention. Okay, so, dismantle that. That. You get the baton out. Thank you. Baton, baton. You? Okay. Hold on, buddy. Can I talk to you? Forget about the zombies. Ugh, again with the volume, guys. I'm sorry. A living nightmare that walks among us. J just calm down and tell me what's going on. I am Babar Kizal, and I am the victim of a most terrible and ancient curse. I am a lycanthrope. A uh, what? A lycanthrope. A werewolf. You have seen the undead <laughs> all around you. Is it so unlikely that other such monsters are here as well? The Nosferatu, the Mummy, the Lycanthrope. Dahlia the Witch says I can be cured if I ingest a potion of garlic, wolfsbane, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Help me collect hmm. these things and get me to another safe zone. I will pay you very, very well. Okay, okay. Why do you need to reach another safe zone? One of the survivors here. I think he's a goo. Also, they tell me I have to leave because... I'm a crackpot. Tonight is the full moon. We haven't much time. Yeah, yeah, I'd prefer not to drag this one out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you if you fail this to protect the guy, you just restart, so it's not like you lose out forever if you fail. Problem, the problem is really protecting him while he gets this shit. I remember it was pretty difficult. But he stops like every so often. Do you know what I mean? See what I mean? I also don't know if I can damage him or not by accident, so let's try not to do that. Let's try not. Oh my god, so many of them. Stay down. I don't know if this guy has a health bar either. I gotta keep an eye on them. I'm pretty sure the reward is a new blueprint, so I don't want to miss out on that. It could be very useful for all I know. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you definitely are a crackpot, give him that. At least he's somewhat self-aware of that. What they say about... what's that saying? Admitting, like, your f faults is like half the battle or something? I don't know. I forget what the actual saying is, but you get what I'm saying, right? Also, whenever I think the name, whenever I hear the name Babar, I always think of the elephant. You know what I'm talking about, right? I think there's like a cartoon elephant named Babar. I don't know what the context it is. It was a children's book series, wasn't it? Which I think it was. Yeah, sure, just don't wait up for me. Where are they gonna get these things, by the way? Hopefully they're all in one spot. <laughs> That's all I can hope for. Yeah, round the barricade, please. Thank you. In here? Ooh, gauze. I if I do. First ingredient. Good. We can move on. Now you're looking more human already. Crap it. They're all, they are all in different spots. It's gonna take a while. Even worse, I don't think we get any checkpoints with this, so if I die, and fa if he dies, I gotta start all over the beginning again, I think. Um... How did you become a werewolf? Uh, Bar, watch yourself. I mean, anybody's guess how he came this way, but he's not a werewolf, come on. Is this a Resident Evil Village? Crane. This is not Resident Evil Village. Yo. Yep, no lichens to be found in this game. Okay, one more. Done. Okay, on the move again. Is the cinnamon here? There. A teaspoon of cinnamon. I have everything I need. Now, 
I will cure myself of this terrible curse. You may fire when ready. When did you turn to Grand Moff Tarkin? Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was disgusting. Yes, I bet it was. It was. Okay. <laughs> I'm cured. Let's go. I've never heard a character actually say that line, aside from the character I just mentioned. You may fire when ready. I wonder if they took inspiration from that. It would be very cool if they did, but there's no way to prove that, unfortunately. If you guys don't know what the line refers to, I am very disappointed in you. In fact, oh god. Fuck. Um. I can't deal with it. You can make quick work of that guy if I'm not careful. This noise is gonna attract more of these fuckers. Get away from him! Get away from him! Shit! Pretty sure he could die! God, protect him! Um, I should have been prepared for this. Stop hurting him! Damn it, I don't want you to hurt me either. I'm not doing too well here. Get away from him! He's gonna die! I should have had a more powerful weapon ready. I wasn't. I didn't know this guy. Crap, repair, repair, repair. Damn you! This is gonna take quite a while, if at all. Stop attacking him, attack me instead. Oh, watch it, watch it! Fuck. I have throwing stars, but I can't re-equip them at the moment. Far to stay back. Are you moving on? Okay. Fine. Works out better for me this way. Hopefully, that's a tower right there. Please be the. T yeah, that is a tower. Okay, that was pretty rough. I thought we thought the thug was gonna take him out. Oh, his help bar is. I didn't see his help bar on the right side of the screen. Okay, it was there. Okay. Thank you, sir. You Blueprint Exorcist. No doubt. <laughs> Here is your payment. Good luck to you, and beware the moon. Yep. You got more survivor. Okay, three hundred. That's all I get, really. What's the point of the airdrops? Where are you on med kits? Hey, Quarter Master, drop oh, off that. I couldn't stand watching our kids starving. Yeah, I got the shield now. The problem is, the shield takes up a lot of space, it takes up a slot, and plus you can't even sell it, so I'm just gonna leave the shield there for now. I already have a shield in my inventory anyway. Now, they gotta create more medkits. What's Exorcist? Oh, god. Bleeding and electricity, not bad, not bad. Hey, we need more medkits, though. I think that's all the side stuff we could do at the moment, aside from the repeatable things like the quarantine zones. So, I guess we'll just move on to f meeting Rice. After I craft these medkits, of course. Should be good for now, alright. 25, not bad. Okay, so, who is down here? Wait, who? Huh? I hadn't really planned on it, why? Oh, you. Well, would you, uh, would you mind giving Lena a message for me? Sure, I guess, but... Why can't you just walk up there and tell yourself? I can't. I, I get nervous. Way too nervous. Nervous? Why would you... Wait. Are you about to ask me to deliver some sort of love note? I just get all tongue-tied when I'm around her. She worked on my mother when we first got to the tower, and she was so good. And ever since then, I... Well, she's kind of all I've been able to think about. Dude, you know she's with Brecken, right? I mean, you gotta know that people here, they do talk, don't they? She's with... Lena's dating Brecken? Oh shit, oh shit, shit! I can't compete with him, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he would kick my ass, damn it! Yeah, he would. Okay, okay, just forget I said anything, alright? Just, we never had this conversation. <laughs> Whatever you say, bud. Okay, if you hoping that would be like an extra side thing we could do, apparently not. I had no idea Lena was her brick, and I thought she was just a doctor. I never knew that. 
So anyway, do here, light drop, escape. Yeah, please do that. And power. Stomp, ground pound. I don't care about that stuff. Too much shit. Um, sure. Okay, we've got to head to Rice. I... Yeah, turn the flashlight off, please. Turn it off, thank you. <laughs> right, if I remember correctly, Rice is one of the most irritating antagonists I've seen in the video game. Not the most irritating, but definitely high up there. Definitely in my top 10. I don't know about top 5, though, but top 10, 100%. Oh, T uh, Tyrone King from Dead Rising 2. Oh my god, I hated that fucking guy so much. So much. If you saw my Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 off the record Let's Plays, you would know how much I fucking hated that guy. <laughs> We're just gonna express how much, dis much disdain I had for this son of a bitch. Whereas, like, someone might... What's, what the hell was that guy's name in Far Cry 4? Pagan Min. Pagan Min is supposed to be an antagonist of Far Cry 4, but... When you think about antagonist in video games, he barely does anything to the player. I mean, yeah, he did imprison uh, Did he imprison you in the Durgash I don't know. He sort of just had talked to you in the Durgash prison. He wasn't really, like, condoning the fact that you were in there, so... Yeah, like, he's one of the least hateable antagonists in games I could think of, Pagan Men. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Yep, that's Rise's hideout. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole on the tower? Alright, what does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. Alright, let him through. This ought to be yeah, too bad I can't kill these guys, of course. They're all gonna die anyway. Alright. Welcome, friend! <laughs> yeah, Rice, you're no friend of mine. You're just an evil son of a bitch. Yeah, there he is. I recognize that suit anywhere. We have been friends for very long time, That's mm. why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? No, I'll give you a choice. I don't think so. Very simple. You're right hand. Oh, you jeez. Left. Left. Oh, Was that my left or your left? You're gonna chop off the opposite one regardless. You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. Yeah. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I'd rather have a guarantee. I seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Yeah, there's the hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I'm not gonna pick that up. It's tainted. No, I, I looked up who does the voice acting for Kyle Crane in this game. At first, I thought it was Troy Baker. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. But apparently not. According to the internet, it's Roger Craig Smith, which I really didn't think it sounded like him. I guess that is the beauty of voice actors, they can pitch their voices to so many different... Shut up. ...manners, it just boggles the mind. But in case you're wondering, Roger Craig Smith is mostly known for doing the voice of Sock the Hedgehog since 2010. You and I could be really good I don't know so much in the games, but yeah, in the... Uh, Sonic Boom TV show and some other things too. Rice said you'd be coming by. Oh, I remember you. Crane, an American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, hmm. Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way, I can make sure you get where you need to go. 
And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the antis in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Yeah, I'll bet he doesn't, considering he's like a dictator. I think I could take? I don't think so. Apparently I could buy stuff. Is there anything I need? I don't think so. Open arrows? Sure, might as well. So now I can make arrows, okay. Where's the exit? That's the way we came in. Yeah, I'm staying out of your sight. Oh, can I actually crash here? That's interesting. Alright. I mean, it's a safe zone, even a hostile safe zone. That makes any sense. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Mm. Interesting point, Al. He doesn't have any women working for him, this Rice guy. Only men. Probably a reason for that. Okay, contact the GRE. The real sad thing if this was to be a real life situation where a city was quarantined, with people stuck in there, no way out, with zombies around. This is exactly what would happen. People would form groups and fight each other instead of like working together. Typical War of the Flies scenario, if you ask me. It's unfortunate, but that's exactly what would happen. You know it, and I know it. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Okay, well, got more points. Find the telecommunications antenna, which is where? Map. Okay, that's pretty far away, but we'll get there. We have time for this, though. Yeah, we've got time. We're at 17 minutes. That's perfectly fine. Oh, the, the mushrooms, yeah. Oh, in case you're wondering, Roger Craig Smith did not. Hey, Al Capone, you ready to do this? Yeah. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Outpost at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a supply thing here, but it's electrocuted. Plus, that two brutes are standing right next to it. I don't think I can get it at the moment, alright. I'm not gonna waste time doing that, cause I think I gotta turn the power off, then defeat them. The first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Yeah, the guy who did the voice in the Sock the Hedgehog movie, I believe his name was Ben Schwartz. Oh, is this when I meet the, the spitting things? I think it is. Crap, not ready for this. Spitting thing right now, right? Yep. I forgot what to do about these guys. I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> fucked up infected motherfucker. I gotta remember that. No, stay down. Stay down. Okay, they're not that strong, but they got attacked. Okay, they're still alive. Um, excuse me. I can't open the uh, the shutter of all you fuckers around. Okay, flame them out. I don't have any Molotov shit. Why did I create more Molotovs? Oh my god. I know why I didn't make more Molotovs. What the hell? Get back. That could attract some noise. The second why I didn't attack the barrels. Well. Okay, hit, come on, hit the barrel. Hit the barrel. Oh my god. I don't think I can get the shutter open with all these fuckers around. You just hit your friend. Tch. 
Okay, I gotta ward them away somehow. Come on, hurry up, 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 up. Hurry up, 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 up. Shit! Why can't it just be a cutscene, like, showing me opening the shutter? Why does it have to be in real time? It's so stupid. Oh, great, the virals are here. Okay, where the fuck did you come from? You're gonna die now. Going to die. Heal. Yeah, the virals can get up here, not the other ones. Back the fuck up. I said back the fuck up, please. You still alive? I don't know, did you f die in the fall? No, you did not. Now you're dead. Crap, I didn't want to fall down, fuck. <laughs> we heal again. Get some goddamn Molotovs or something. Please tell me we, we can make Molotovs. Please tell me that. Blueprints, not inventory. Inventory, whatever the hell you want to call it. What the hell is that noise outside my house? I don't know. Not running well on alcohol, that ain't good. <laughs> Gotta get more when I can. Alright, so... Do we have any throwing stars? Can we even make throwing stars? Yes, we can. Well, not bad, I get E of them. Per... Craft, not bad. Next number to assign them to something, there we go. Oh my god, they stole around the goddamn shutter! Well, now you've done it. I tried to narrow viral or a few. Sorry guys, it might take a while. I can't get the shutter open with all these fucking undeather around it. Come on, go away. Even now I can get it. Hold on, let's try. Let's try. Oh fuck, the virals are here. God damn it, that was quick. There's two of them. I don't like when I've had to fight multiple virals, not cool. I repair this quick, 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 quick repair it! Yeah, this game's gonna have sometimes these lulls in the um, action, guys, I'm sorry. Nothing I can really do about it because of the way the game is structured, so please bear with me. Come on, bitch, what you got? The fact that a zombie can even run is sort of like defies old logic in these types of uh, genres. Zombies are not supposed to be able to run, they're supposed to shamble. I mean, yeah, I guess there are exceptions, but still. Oh my god, you're still around the fucking. I gotta get into that building, you son of a bitch. Why did I walk right into that fire? What is wrong? Oh my god, this is so goddamn irritating. How many more are gonna fucking show up? Oh my god. It's the big guy really fucking irritates me, because he's gonna take a very long time to take out. Oh my god, they're still fucking showing up. How many more could be in this fucking area? Seriously. Watch it! Fuck! Wait, him swimming the ground ignites that? I did not realize that. I did not know that. Interesting. I guess it would create sparks, but still. Alright. Get away! Gotta get the shutter open! Get open, get open, get open! Come on, hurry the fuck up, Crane! Thank you! Oh my god. Why are there enemies in here? Oh shit! That doesn't make much sense. Oh shit, I don't want to get stuck in here. I do not want to get stuck in there. Crap. All this just to turn a goddamn switch on. Oh my god. The things I do for my enemies, you know? The things I do. Yeah, no, if I had more powerful weapons, I'd be done with these fuckers already, but I just don't at this point. So, I don't know, I imagine playing on the harder difficulty means the enemies take longer to kill. It doesn't make sense, but I don't know, it's still annoying. 
I wish I had more powerful stuff here. No, not. Oh, bollocks. Get the goodies. Get, get, okay. Where's the fucking thing? Here? There! Power's fucking on! Good. Okay. You think with all the climbing and parkour shit that Ubisoft made this, but nope. Techland did. I don't know, does Ubisoft publish ga um, develop games or do they only publish them? I don't know. Yeah, it's always the rope that you know where to jump on. It's so cliche. Same thing in Far Cry, same thing in Tomb Raider, apparently. I never played Tomb Raider. I mean, the new Tomb Raider, not the old PS1 versions, but yeah. I did want to play Tomb Raider when it first came out, but I just didn't. I don't know why. Maybe because I wasn't that interested in playing it at the time, because I never played any of the other games. Not that it really matters in terms of the timeline, because supposedly this is just a reboot. Okay, now jump there. I should look into it. I know that you could get the whole trilogy of the three games and all the DLC, so... Yeah, it might be worth looking into. <laughs> Excuse me. I also really wish I had the grappling hook. That makes things so much easier. But no, I think I have to reach a certain level of agility to get the grappling hook. I forget how... Why are you up here? Beat it. Is... Okay. Okay, tear that off. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, shit. Kareem. Someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Now, I'm not ready to do that just yet. I think there's like a flag on top of each tower. I mean, the flag might just be a collectible. I just want to double check while I'm here. Might as well, right? We're almost at the top anyway, so yeah. Let's see if I'm right. There's a chest here. Give me something juicy. Okay, I need alcohol anyway, but it's still not very juicy. Really? There's no flag up here? Oh, there, there is a flag. Oh, it actually gives you agility points. I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay, so it is worth checking them out. But how am I going to get back down from here? I can't attach myself to the... Fuck. Ow. I don't think there's any other choice I could have made there. Alright, where's the zipline? The zipline is below me, apparently. Shit. Oh god, I wish I had a grappling hook. Why can't I attach myself to the ledge and climb down? Why is that such a... Okay, okay. Yeah, use the zipline. Okay, I don't think you're wearing gloves. That would burn your hands if you did that without wearing gloves. Just pointing that out. Check the second antenna, alright. Just this way. Yeah, I'll try to finish this up before we stop, because I don't know if it's going to... It'll probably both save my progress, but either way, I want to leave this hanging. Okay. Hey, Kareem. What do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, okay, what's... what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Okay, I gotta make something here. Let's try that. Plain hammer. Okay, I think we're good now. Watch it. Where's the second antenna, by the way? Oh, it's all the way across town. Crap. Alright, I'll get there as quick as I can. Okay, if I had the grappling hook, we'd already be there, but I don't have the grappling hook yet. I kind of forget how you unlock it. Don't you have to be like a certain agility level and pick it as a perk? I don't remember how you unlock it. Really, Crane? That was not that high of a fall. <laughs> that was not that high of a fall. Tell me, is that thing right over there? Oh my god. But 
By the way, even though I have played this before, I know all the story elements, it is fun to play this again. Kinda missed out on doing this sort of shit. Well, yeah, open world zombie games, or even zombie games in general, are a dime a dozen, but this one is like unique because of the parkour stuff. Never. Okay, hold on. Hold that thought, survivor in need. Survivor in need of help. Right here. Thank you so much for helping me and sending those bastards to hell. No problem. Yeah, I think this is actually a safe house that I unlocked before off camera. The second antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. Hmm. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. Oh yeah, I remember. These guys, like, don't want to work for Rice, but they're sort of like... <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Bullied into? No, I can't make that jump. I cannot make that jump. How do I get in here exactly? Oh, maybe you're from over there. That makes more sense. Yeah, this looks better. What the fuck do you want? No need to be so damn rude. Can I talk to you from here? Guess not. Yep. Don't mind me. I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. Yeah, I think we have side quests with these two, the guy and the son. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. That, these guys are killers. Yes. Yeah, the father doesn't want to be indebted to Rice, but he doesn't. He feels obligated to for protection. Okay, but how do we climb this? No, it's not what I want to do. How do I climb this damn thing? Well, there's a ladder, but it's locked. Why is it locked? Can we just smash this. Well, I can't use my weapon in the safe area. Apparently, what the hell? What am I missing here? Oh. This? Okay. Okay. Okay, can't make that. Judge got jump there. Yep. When I first saw this game advertised and they said it was gonna rely a lot in running and parkour, it honestly didn't interest me that much, but then I heard this from the same company that did Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide, so that piqued my interest enough. I did play Dead Island Dead Island Riptide as well. Back on 360, before I had the channel again. It was okay for what it was worth, but that trailer... You ever see that trailer where time is falling backwards, you see the girl fall to her death? That is so... such bullshit. It's misleading advertising, because... Not only was the game had nothing to do with emotions, pretty much, it was just a typical hack and slash. Can I climb this? Oh no, I can't climb it. What the hell? The family doesn't even appear in the game, aside from being in, like, a room at the beginning and you can just find their corpses, based on what they've read. Why even showcase a trailer about being an emotional story involving families and heartbreak if that's not even in the fucking game? I sure hope this fucking climb was worth it. I mean, I just hate when game companies do that, or any company in general does that. I don't think I can climb- can I climb this? Okay, good thing I could, otherwise I would've fallen. Yeah, they probably jump in now. Can I make that from over there? I don't know. Let's try. Yep. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, and pull this off. Come on. Go. And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. I sound like there's an airplane flying over my house, but it's constant. What the hell is going on outside? I wish I knew. Okay, I do want to get a flag if it's up here, but how do I get any higher? Oh, you gotta be shitting me, really? How do I get over there? What? 
What? I have to get on top of that spotlight, but how do I do that? Oh, you gotta be shit, I gotta jump from here. Okay, that was close. I had to quit through the environment to get that. Yep, flag. Yeah, it does give you 500 agility points. I did not know that. Okay, cool. I know we're running a little late. I do want to just get back to Rice and report this. Okay, so where's the zip line? Gotta find the zip line. First, get down to this level. Easy, easy. There's zip line. I'm pretty sure he'll give us like a few vials of anthocyanin for all this bullshit we're doing. But again, you can never trust. I took damage from that, really. Never trust someone who's a maniac. Rule number one. There's no reasoning with sons of bitches, crazy, crazy sons of bitches like Rice. There just isn't. Ugh. Okay. Was I more than more or less doing it to help right? Oh shit. Get up there. Yeah, you were right that it was gonna indirectly help everybody, so that's a good thing, I guess. Ah shit. Where'd you come from? Screw you, man. Or zombie, whatever you- uh, it's volatile, is that what you're called? Oh, come on. How much further to Ryze's compound, goddammit? Fuckers are still chasing me. Again, I'm not even gonna try to fight them, because I'm pretty sure it's like virtually impossible to kill these volatile things. In fact, I think the first time I did actually got a tr achievement. Not now. Is it Kyle Crane? Who wants to know? Troy? My name is Troy. Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Okay. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, please, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Too bad none of you are going to end up living through this, but still. <laughs> you don't know that yet. Well, isn't Troy most, more or less a Job's guy's done. name? Now it's time to get I've never heard of a woman named Troy before. Maybe hell in the Troy, but I don't know. Okay, there's your damn well, thing done. Well, not only did the job carry most of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit oh, more yeah. persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Not the point. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. You are such a dick. None of your men could climb that tower and got the power back. Um, whatever the power back on. You owe me a lot more. Ah, my friend, Rice likes you. I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? Yeah, I gotta act as a thug and collect payments. I hate doing this. 
contact the GRE again? Alright, hold on. I gotta stop, uh, like, pretty much now. We're running too late. If I could, I'd kick you right in the balls. Alright, just get out. Get out, get out. I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE. Okay, did I think I caught the GRE right outside? Hold on. Okay, we'll contact the GRE, then we'll stop, because I don't want to run all the way back here just to complete this one objective. If I wait till it's night, uh, di uh why am I waiting till it's daytime? What's wrong with me? Well, it is what it is. We're already out here, so let's just take advantage of it. I also heard that for Dying Light 2, they're gonna make a lot more different breeds of zombie. Oh. Troll is rumbling, you know what that means. Package inbound. Ah, shit. Where's it coming from? Hey, look for the plane. Look for the plane. I don't see the plane. You always know there's a package about to be dropped when your controller starts vibrating. Watch the toxic goo. Ah. I said watch it, Crane, not bump into it. Okay, hopefully the... I want to get this drop, guys, because Rice's men don't go for the drops when it's nighttime. Of course, you got... Oh, shit. Don't jump off of that distance. That's better, okay. Of course, it's more danger doing it at nighttime simply because of the volatiles, but you don't have to worry about getting there on time, though, so that's a good thing. Can you get it? Not bad, okay, cool. That's everything? That's everything, okay. Let's just contact the GRE, then we'll stop, I promise. I promise we'll stop after we contact the GRE. Go up here, on the bridge? Alright. Can I get the bridge from here? Let's see. Surprisingly, yes, I didn't think that would work. Wait, now you want me to go down? You, am I supposed to go in the train car? Hold on. Alright. Contact your authoritative bastards already. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. I did the get what goes money when the apocalypse has happened and this is the way to get out? I don't really see the point of money in this game. Whatever, okay. We're at 43 minutes. We're stopping right now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.